This is a journey into the game's most adventurous art form. Stunners. When it comes to the game, he milked all the front runners. You need to feel the beat while I speak my mind on it. First off, this bubblegum youth called Ironic. Misled the youth, made them think he's rap. He dropped Tiny Dancer, Chip killed the track. Supposed to be a top star, close nearly top charts. Come on, G, smile to bring a toast to feed Pop Tart. And Carl Hines is washed up, used to be my favorite. Now, if he dropped the disc, I wouldn't pay for it. What do you think about the uh, smile um, diss of everyone within the UK? Alright, my thing about the Smiler record, um, Destroy and Rebuild, is this, that Smiler was trying to be slick in it, he tried to be smart. The issue that he brought up is a um, genuine issue, yeah? But if people, you see, because music is so watered down nowadays, people have forgotten how to listen to lyrics and how to listen to what someone's saying in a record. Now, everybody, a lot of people... Um, defending the issue and the issue is a right issue to defend isn't it like you know he makes a point the, the general issue but what he tries to do is use the issue and manipulate it to his advantage so at the beginning of the record he says he's going to surpass man isn't it he says he's going to overtake man like man is dead and that's the issue that I had with what he was saying I'm not I'm not disputing the general subject that he was trying to come at me with or come at everybody with because I was the one, like I say in my, re in my reply, I was the one that brought that up in the first place. Years ago, I got a tune on my second album called Psychoanalysis. You understand? Which yeah. deals with that period. That's what the record is about. And in every other record, I was warning UK hip hop period, if you keep promoting certain man, and if you keep promoting a certain one style of hip hop, the game is going to fall. Because a lot of the people you're promoting are fake, they're not really street, and the streets don't listen to them. Ah oh yes, the British rap game. Please come in. My name is Carl Hines, and this is The Clinic. We're gonna get into your psyche right now, do you get me? This rap game in Britain jars me Since I deal with amateur psychology I thought I psychoanalyze the game This rap game in Britain jars me Since I deal with amateur psychology I thought I psychoanalyze the game This rap game in Britain jars me Since I deal with amateur psychology I thought I psychoanalyze the game of why it hates me Paranoid possibly, you tell me If what I speak ain't the truth, explain to me why you disagree I had an appointment with the game, call it death If what I speak ain't the truth, explain to me why you disagree A lot of the people you're promoting are fake, they're not really street And the streets don't listen to them and that was my point. So in that instance, I agree with Smiler. But where I disagreed with Smiler was is that he tried to be slick with it and turn a genuine debate to his advantage. And if you want to be slick, then that's about an IQ thing, innit? Like you're trying to go on like you're smart. So if you're going about, if you're going on like you're smart, then here we go, and that's where I took it to. So if you're smart, then boy, I'm gonna have to show you a whole heap of contradictions. And that was before his, his interview with 279 came up. You understand? And that was before when other other bits just before I heard his mix C D, you know what I mean? Or whatever. It's before I even heard any other things to get at him with. I just simply just made a record about what he said within that record. And there was just bare discrepancy. And it gave me an insight into what type of man he probably really is. You know what I mean? So I think he tried to be smart. You know what I mean? The subject was a genuine subject, but his record is not a genuine record because that's not... The nature of his record was for him to leapfrog everyone without putting any real work and say, look, that man there fell off, so right here, here I am. And kind of, he, he wanted to lead the young'uns into thinking that, you know what I mean, that man couldn't have been nothing because a lot of the young'uns hadn't heard of us. That man there couldn't have been nothing. And Smile is saying it on record, so he must be the truth. Mm. He just tried it, you understand? And that's cool, try thing. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm not mad or nothing like that, but this is hip hop, innit? So, try a thing, that's what you did, innit? So, what comes with that, you've got to be able to handle, because you're a man, right? So, okay, cool. So, boom, that's you, that's what you're saying, cool. Well, here's what I'm saying, innit? And don't let me get back. What's good, UK? So, what? You think you're strong enough to call that man's name yet? Yeah? What? You? You ain't got no weight in this game, you ain't made no money in this game, bruv. Who are you? Yeah, cool. call that my name again. My name. You think you're that hot and I'm hurt. Piss on your hopes and dreams yeah, as you fuck up your need for living. Brace yourself for Grimer's response. You ain't even expecting it. It's like an IQ test. What's your results? You're a dumb shit. Who's the best? That's obvious. Ain't no best. Carl Hines always been, will be. Boom, that's you. That's what you're saying. Cool. Well, here's what I'm saying, innit? And don't let me get vexed.
that's all that that was like you know let me just point out the indiscrepancies of what you said you know what I mean and if you come back then we we'll really deal with it everybody knows that I'm one of the hottest spitters to ever come out of England period that's not even that's not even a debate you know what I mean but if you're if you're saying you're a fan of me then don't misrepresent me even if you're not a fan of me no more whatever you can't talk about that subject and put me down as one of the perpetrators of the cause of that subject when I was fighting it before you even thought about rapping that don't make no sense. So therefore, don't don't portray yourself as any type of fan of mine, because you're contradicting all the true fans of mine. Because you're you're saying, you know what I mean? If you're a fan of Carl Hines and you were standing for the very thing that I was fighting against, that don't make no sense. Mm-hmm. He just tried to be smart and didn't realise that you know what I mean. Man in this game, sees a man in this game, obviously are smarter. You know what I mean? And we're more intelligent and we're more informed about the game, and we made money out of the game. That's what a lot of them young ones don't understand. Man's made peas out of the game, but there were certain men in the game that didn't like the whole floss issue. So there were certain journalists in the game that didn't like that whole side, and the whole amount of money that certain man was making weren't pushed to the forefront. You understand? So UK hip hop wasn't about who's making the most money. That wasn't pushed to the forefront because that made certain men uncomfortable because their men were already rich. And that's where he gets it twisted. A lot of men, put it this way, if I, if, if I, as an artist back in them days, mm-hmm. was making a record, kept warning people this game is falling off, and then no one changes the game, mm-hmm. no one says, you know what, no, if Carl's saying it, let's at least look at it. I mean, no, no journalist wrote about it except for one magazine. You understand? No, everybody tried to ignore what I was saying, and then it, certain people tried to make people start hating me as an artist. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because they were comfortable with where the game was. So if, if people were comfortable with where the game was, even though I could see that it was going to fall, so if I saw it, others must have seen it, you've got to ask yourself, why were they comfortable? And the reason they were comfortable because they was getting peas. They might have been creaming off the way the game was. So he's wrong to say that there was no money in the game. And a lot of people say that, and that's not true. Man's made a lot of fucking money out of it. You understand? And that's it. That's how I feel. He just thought he, just thought he, just thought he was slick, and I'm not having it. You know what I mean? It's not a personal thing at all, it's just business, isn't it? Mm. Okay, when should that be coming out then? Well, you know what, we kind of... It's definitely coming out, you know what I mean, towards the fucking middle of this year now. You know what I mean? We're pushing it back a little piece, you know what I mean? Like, letting people rediscover, you know what I mean, that I'm about and what I've been up to and what's going on. Letting this thing kind of blow over. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I'm going to drop it. So we haven't gotten a fixed date yet, but that shit is definitely coming out by summer, the very late, for sure. I mean, it's recorded, it's done. Everything's set to go. Go, 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 go. Uh, yeah. This one they're going to hate. Trust me. It's another Carl Hines beat for them UK purists to just hate on. Hate on this one. Trust. Carl Hines theme. Forward thinkers, nothing but spitting on this one. That's it. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. that hustler, pop spit is back forever relevant, as significant as the birth of rap. I seen cats in the DVDs flinging their arms about like they're hurting something. You got bars, well then I'm out of trash. You don't want it with man. Some murky old stuff of rap, describing your plan. Somebody should have told man. You bring sending out threats and acting movie, but you got no weight and you don't short it. They want to call it some. Ask if I back crime or British rap. I back me.